important because it helps you to make informed decision. I did a video the last time showing you the type of data you should be collecting on your farm. But today I'm going to show you the data I collect on my farm. It's your girl, Nisha, your farm lady. If this is your first time you're stopping by, you're warmly welcome. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. On this channel, we talk about fish farming, we talk about farming, talk about self-development. So guys, let's dive in. So these are the folders on my farm. So at Agrofish Farm, every single pod has a folder. So this is pond one, and this is pond two, pond three, and pond four. So I'm going to take one of them and show you the kind of document that I found in this folder. So let's take point four. So let's go into detail to show you what's in point four. So the first document in this is our feed chart, right? So this is the document we track all the feed that we use on our pond on a monthly basis so on top of here you see our logo you see our website it gives you an overview like it's the size of the pond the date the fish was stuck in the pond the total of fish in that pond and the species of itself so the moment you take this file you exactly know what's the type of information you need for a specific pond so now let's dive into this so here we have this so you have to put the dates the time you feed it's also important the type of feed, either you use powder feed or pellets feed, the quantity, how many kilograms or how many grams did you feed? And also the response of the fish is really important. So that's why when you are feeding, you need to pay attention to see and observe how the fish behave, if they are behaving poorly or they are not responding to the feed. So because we feed morning and afternoon, so this file, this table is divided into two. So the information here is the same over here. Also, we have at the end of every month here, we have the total of feed use, the dates you close the file and everything. So this gives an informed decision of the amount of feed you use on your pond on a monthly basis. And then you can add it up until the end of the production. So this is one file you can find in this folder. The next one is... Um, water quality you also have the same information there so this also we use to collect our water quality data we collect data once every week so meaning we collect data four times in the month right so inside this uh inside this uh file we have the data as well which you collected it the time you did the, the, the test the species in that particular pond because water quality uh, uh has a correlation with the type of species because the temperature that might be good for tilapia might not be good for catfish so we also collect temperature the dissolved oxygen the ph the nitrate and nitrate and at the end of the day you have to give remark to see whether your water quality is is okay or it is not okay so this is the folder, the file we use to collect data on our farm. The other file you can find in this folder, stocking density. So we use this folder to track the stocking information. So this gives us the number of fish we stock, when we stock it, how was it, how old we are there. This gives us the information. So let's go into this as well and see what are some of the data, right? So. The same thing, the date you stock, so the date you put the fish in the pond, you should be able to know the, the type of species you do, the, the total fish, so for example, if you put 1,000, you should be able to record it because this gives you from decision when you are harvesting. So for example, if you put 1,000 fish, then you harvest 500, it definitely tells you that either there was mortality or there was theft on, in, in your pond. So this gives an informed decision about that. The, the, the average weight of the fish when you stock it the size in terms of length and the source you get to your finger is also is really important because this helps you to trace back if there is any disease outbreak on your farm to know where did you get your finger is and above all also a remark this is one uh, file you can find in this folder then the last but not the least is fish mortality this helps you to know the number of fish that that was dead during your production cycle so this helps you to know as well but in this we have a lot of information that you need to get to know right so we have the date as well the date you collected uh the fries the fish species that you collected the number of mortality the number of dead fish you collected should be recorded because 
maybe you can anticipate the cause maybe if it's stress or maybe it's 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 high temperature you should be able to record it as well and also the state of the mortality if the fish was having a a, a, a piercing eyes or rotting tail or caught feet you'll be able to record it the last day how was the mortality used because maybe your team also ever will just say I, there was mortality maybe they just pick some of your fish and ate them then they said there was a month they should be able to tell you what did they do with the mortality on our farm here we use it as manual or better still we pull this mark out and give it back to the fish so guys this is how i collect data on my farm i hope i was able to teach you something i hope you learn something if you have any other way or method or strategy you think we can collect data on our fish farm please write it in the comment section and don't forget to like comment and subscribe because I want to get to the 1,000 subscriber goal by the end of 2023. I still remain your grandmother, your farm lady. Bye. See me in the next one.